hey everyone. It's manually. And so I've always been looking for ways to run my e-commerce business as passively as possible. And it was that journey that led me to do what I now do today. And that is print on demand. While I also still do something called drop shipping, where I store items in a fulfillment warehouse and ship them out as customers order them, my main product sourcing method these days is print on demand. And as a result, I've made it way more passive. Let me show you how it works. So to protect my intellectual property, I choose not to reveal the actual products I sell, but I have set up an example store to show you how my e-commerce business runs. So you see all this merch that I've listed here in my example store? Well, I don't actually manufacture or create any of it myself. Instead, I've come to this print on demand app here, Printify. Now, using this app, you can go through the catalog of items and then choose a blank product that you would like to sell your own custom version of. And as you can see, they've got all sorts of things, including t-shirts, backpacks, mugs, hoodies, you name it. So once you've found an item that you want to sell, you then just upload either a trendy slogan or a piece of artwork onto it and pick what color t-shirts you want to sell. So for me here, I've uploaded a piece of artwork onto it and you can move it around and place it where you want and Printify will then store a digital copy of this t-shirt in their computers. And then you can list that item for sale in your store and when a customer comes and buys that item, Printify's app will automatically see and process the sale for you. Their t-shirt factory will then print the design onto the t-shirt, package the t-shirt up, and then they'll ship it out to the customer and notify them that the package is on its way and give them a tracking link. Automatically, without you having to do anything. So you can see why this service is called Print On Demand, because it's literally what it is. As you can see, Printify are charging me about $12 to do this, but because I usually sell my uni 6 tees for $29.95, I really don't mind paying that cost. So yes, as you can see, by switching my e-commerce business to now be a print-on-demand business, it is way more passive than my old video game store. I even get free passive traffic from Google, so if you want to learn more about how my store runs passively, you can look at this video here. But I can imagine that some of you are like, ugh, Sarah, setting up a store like that sounds like a lot of work. And it's okay. I get it. So if you're watching and you want a more beginner friendly way to set up a print on demand store that doesn't actually have any of that whole setting up your own store stuff, then check this out. Here's a beginner friendly print on demand website that I don't think I've discussed before on this channel, Spreadshirt. It's absolutely free for anyone to register and start making money selling merch that you create on here and they charge you no fees. So as you can see, Spreadshirt is both a huge print-on-demand factory and a big digital marketplace that lets you create and sell merch that their factory will create and sell for you on demand, like t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and even face masks. And by the way, uh, face masks are making a lot of money right now. So if you can think of a good face mask design, I strongly recommend uploading it and selling it because right now there is a huge demand for fun face masks. But yes, what you do is you come to Spreadshirt and you upload a trendy or funny slogan or a cool picture to the website and you pick which of their products you want to place it onto and pick which product color you want to be the primary one and Spreadshirt will review the design and create a digital copy of the product and store it in their computers. And then once they've reviewed it, they'll create a product listing so customers can find and buy your product for sale. And I can imagine that some of you are probably wondering why I had uploaded that slogan that I did earlier. And the reason is because as you can see, someone else already did that here. And even though this is a super simple design, this actually became one of the top selling designs on Spreadshirt. Why? Because people find it funny. And so it shows you that you don't need to be an artist or a graphic designer to make passive income on here because simple text-based designs that are clever can sell great. And every time someone comes and buys a shirt that this user has uploaded, Spreadshirt's factories print the design onto the t-shirt and they package it up and they ship it out to the customer. And unlike Printify that charged me $12 to do this service, Spreadshirt actually charge you nothing. Instead, they collect the money the customer paid and remove their shipping and production fees from it. And then they pay you the difference as a commission. So it's free to sell and there are no startup costs. And also before I get bombarded with questions of, does this work? Yes, yes, this absolutely works. <laughs> if it didn't, how could Spreadshirt have made over $130 million last year? The only way that Spreadshirt makes money is if people actually come and buy the print on demand shirts. So yes, people do buy these t-shirts and people do make money on Spreadshirt passively each and every month. 